This program is brought to you by Emory University. Welcome to the Michael C. Carlos Museum Works on Paper Gallery. We are here today in the exhibition The Plains of Mars, European War Prints from 1500 to 1825 from the collection of the Sarah Campbell Blaffer Foundation. The show itself runs the gamut from uh, 1500 woodcuts all the way up through engravings, through etchings, lithographs, and aquatints. This is an aquatint series by Francisco de Goya. And what you'll notice, I think, in some of these prints is that they might remind you of one of Goya's famous paintings, The Third of May, which talks about the uprising in Madrid when Bonaparte's forces came in and basically installed his brother Joseph on the throne and the citizens in Madrid uprose against uh, the, the Napoleonic forces. And um, you see the emergence of guerrilla warfare, you see citizens fighting in the streets. And the result here in Goya's Aquatents is a tremendously heart-wrenching and emotional portrayal of a people trying to free themselves. The entire series is, of course, called The Disasters of War. One of the most interesting things is how the viewer is sort of challenged in terms of looking. What are you looking at? Are you looking at the enemy? Are you looking at the Spanish? Who, in fact, is the enemy, really? Um, Goya himself was a Spanish patriot, but he was also concerned with ideas of the French Enlightenment. Here in this print, you can see it's, uh, the title is No se puede mirar, which means one cannot look at this. And this is, again, this concept of looking. And you see this group of people faced with the bayonets of the French soldiers. It's an execution, basically, and the, and the executioners are completely off frame. You see this gentleman in the front. He's not looking at them. A woman has her head covered. Another woman is fainting. Someone else has his face covered. Only the man in the very forefront actually looks at his own execution. And so you get this sense of not being able to stand it, not being able to stand what's happening. Here we're looking at an etching by Albrecht Durer. It's called the Canon. You see a canon here in the foreground. And it shows almost a new interest in the military, in weaponry. Something that's happening right now is the new sort of advent of standing armies. There are many skirmishes in Europe at this point in time. It's the early 16th century. And so you have families plotting against each other, families raising armies, countries raising armies. And so this is something that people see happening around them and artists and other people are just very interested in the fact that this is a new person, the soldier. Um, who is he? What does he do? What do his weapons look like? And this is sort of what Durer is exploring here. He's also got some other figures here in, in exotic clothing. Can't really tell where it is, if it's Ottoman, if it's, if it's somewhere else. Um, but it serves to show Durer's interest in the fact that the world at this point in time has totally expanded. Um, you have the Ottomans coming in from the east, but you also have this entire new world that people did not even know about at all in the Americas. This is an etching, the title of which is Mirror of French Tyranny a 17th century print by Romain de Huff. He was a Netherlandish artist. What de Huff is trying to depict here is the sort of marauding French troops who are coming into Netherlandish villages at this point in time because of the breakdown of an alliance uh, between the French king and the provinces here in the Netherlands. One of the things that you see here is a soldier, the face of a soldier, the body of a dragon carrying the title of the print, Mirror of French Tyranny. This dragon is something that de Huff is playing with. The French kings have often used the dragon or the serpent as a symbol of the enemy. So they, a lot of their sigils will be crushing a serpent, crushing a dragon. What de Huff has done is he's transferred France itself into that dragon, into that enemy. What de Huff is really trying to emphasize is the harsh interactions between soldiers and civilians. And that's something that this entire exhibition really looks at. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.